cleaning schedule of our kegs. We should probably do this every half a dozen brews or so on top of your flush out. So I'm just going to crack that with the multis, unscrew him off. And there you've got your little poppet valve. You can put that straight into a bucket of sodium perk. In here is our liquid tube. We remove the liquid tube in your sanitizer. Grab yourself a tube brush from your cleaning kit. And just give it a little bit of a scrub. Making sure you're giving that corner, that bend, a bit of a hard time with the brush. So it comes out all nice and clean. This is really important for people that have hot heavy beers. Because those hops can get clogged up in your poppet valve and in your system. And give you no end of grief because all you'll ever get is infections in your beers. Check that your springs are all nice and clean. You can give them a little scrub with your stout brush, spout brush rather. Set your poppet back in. Place in your liquid tube. Make sure it goes home. If you want, it's a good time to replace that valve. Then we're going to screw him on. Grab your multis. Bit of a nip up. That's all happy and seated. Repeat the process. You don't really need to repeat the process so much with the gas side because it's only got gas coming into it. But it's a good idea to remove your poppet valve and remove and replace that same o-ring that was in under the liquid tube that's on your gas post and also just to give you a pop it make sure it's seating properly uh, the other thing we can do is remove our keg o-ring you can see this one here's got a little bit of gunk on it soak it in some cleaner give it a scrub with our brush light scrub around on the O-ring. There's nothing wrong with replacing these O-rings every 12 months or so anyway. Slide the lid back on. Fill it with some water. Hook it back up again as you would normally like you were going to pull a beer. Pressure test everything to make sure you've got no leaks like we said before. Um, and you're good to go.